My research focus is on developing approaches using electrical stimulation to restore bladder, bowel, and sexual function lost to neurological disease or trauma. We see folks a lot here with spinal cord injury, multiple sclerosis, stroke, and it has a huge impact not only on day-to-day uh, -day living, but quality of life. So right now I'm collaborating with uh, Dr. Ken Gustafson and Dr. Stephen Brose and others, and we're, we had this uh, ongoing chronic human study here at the VA in the SCI unit. After a spinal cord injury, uh, individuals will have neurogenic detrusor overactivity. That means that their bladder will fill up a little bit and then just reflexively contract and they get urinary incontinence, lower bladder capacities, and we have an electrical stimulation approach that can inhibit the bladder. And we've been sending stimulators home with people now and uh, they report back that not only are they using it on a day-to-day -day basis to get better control of their bladder, uh, but they do report a an improvement in quality of life. We're close to finishing this study with people taking these devices home just to make sure that it's, it stays effective, that it's, you know, that it's feasible, that they're getting these improvements that we hope they'll get. We've, we've been identifying the barriers to clinical deployment of this technology. So really, this is just right now surface stimulation. We'd like to see what would happen if we can have the technology implantable. So that's the next step. Then these individuals would improve significantly with quality of life, independence, and dignity.